Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video about how you can hopefully get rid of stick drift if you think you've got some with your flight stick. I've just recently bought a T-Flight HOTUS X and one of the things you should do when you first get it is set it up. You should calibrate it in other words. It's really easy to do. Just go to the search box. This is in Windows 10. I think it's in the middle, isn't it? Windows um, 11. And just search for um, USB game. And you should, uh, whoop, and you've got to spell game correctly and you should get set up USB game controllers and you click on that and as long as you've plugged your flight stick in it should appear under T-Flight HOTUS X and then you go to properties and in this screen you can just sort of waggle the joystick around and kind of press the different buttons and it will give you you know an idea that, th that things are working and you've plugged it in correctly I mean that's the other thing however if you go to settings and you go to calibrate it will then take you through um, some actions that will hopefully reset to zero the tolerances on your stick because obviously these things wear and if like me you've got a second hand one chances are it might have a little bit of stick drift so once you've done that you can then go back to your game and see what happens however if that still doesn't solve the problem all is not lost because there's a few other things you can do as well normally in the game and this is il, Stem, il to stemovic gate uh, gates of dover cliffs of dover if you go into the controls and all they'll all have something like this and then in this case if i go to my hotas controller what you're looking for is a excuse me is a dead zone setting so what this says is at zero percent so when the uh, joystick is in the middle um how much wiggle room do i have before the the uh output that the joystick is giving to the game before it starts noticing it so for example if i slide that up to there so that's like 10 percent. so it's saying well actually you can waggle the joystick quite a lot in the middle and the game won't register that as a movement until it moves further now obviously for this you're losing sensitivity from the the joystick uh, well range of movement from the joystick sorry because you, you're increasing this dead zone but that can you know, make sure that um, stick drift problems you know can disappear with that sort of thing um, and enable you to get more life out of a, of a particular product the final thing I would say though is that make sure it really is stick drift that you've got because <laughs> I learned this from this game because especially if you're playing a game where you've got um, single engined propeller driven aircraft that when you take off it seems like you've got stick drift because the plane will just keep will often turn to the right and sometimes go up as well depending on your throttle power and that's not stick drift that that's uh i think it would be like torque steer because as the propeller is spinning obviously it's giving you thrust um forward but also because it's spinning in a certain direction it's pulling the aircraft in that direction too so that's why you end up with that drift and the way that you test that or the way that i test it is sometimes you go into a game settings and turn things like torque steer off but the best way i found is go into a game that's got a jet okay and fly in a jet and see if you still get the same thing um and i found that in flight simulator i would fly um the hornet no stick drift at all well no drift at all absolutely fantastic maybe up and up and down a bit and i had to adjust the trim um but as soon as i jumped in like the spitfire in this it would it would drift so it wasn't the um controller it was the simulation and in fact going online and doing a bit of research about it there's loads of other people with exactly the same problem and a load of other people saying no 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 no, you don't understand when you're playing these simulators like ill 2 with these older aeroplanes you need to be on that stick all of the time correcting things and as you change your throttle power that train changes the amount of drift you'll get too so you you know there's, there's no just sitting back like in a f-14 and just letting the plane basically fly itself you've got to be on that stick and adjusting the various trims um and the um the rudder especially to to stop that sort of drift anyway that's enough for me hopefully you found this useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon